afternoon everyone thanks for joining thrilled to be here i hope you had the opportunity to go through our announcement of new vision mission and uh, and the um, logo i'm getting tons of emails from various members of emphasis family and uh, we are seeing it in the social arena twitter uh, facebook uh, people are uh, generally very very happy and so am i it's indeed a very very special occasion that uh, we are launching our new identity and it's not just about new brand and new identity it is about emphasis stepping up the game and taking a leap in the direction where future services companies would be so i don't know whether you got an opportunity uh, to go through some of the press announcement that i did uh, let me get a quick understanding of how i am seeing it you on the screen so if i can get uh, people from pune to wave i mean i i believe we have two locations in pune is that right yeah. okay so magarpatta can i see a wave of hands so i know which is magarpatta because i can't read the words from here so can i ask uh, emphasians from uh, pune magarpatta to wave your hand then uh, pune uh, do we have ion there ion can i see uh, people waving yeah we'll not in bottom right bottom right okay okay chema bangalore chema can you see that the the large one the large one no ah okay now i see a big wave coming from chema then where else do we have uh orr which is wow ah, wow that's very good now then we have um, chennai can i see a, a tamil wave of hands okay all right we have uh, mumbai which one 6 6 all right okay so did uh, we cover parin we did i cover parin as well no parin which is the parin team second second from the right corner okay yeah yeah they waving okay so let me share with you what this journey is all about and i'll give you a broad brush stroke then i'll be sharing uh, four announcements in the area of people because fundamentally when you announce new vision mission and brand it is not just about announcement how you are transforming yourself to make the brand real how do you deliver the brand promise to all our customers in this case we are talking about people profit and planet so how do you deliver your brand promise through your people to your customers and through the customers to your shareholders and in, in this entire spectrum to the community that we live in so what are the things that we have to do but before i go and share with you the four key things which we are announcing around the people plan let me share with you what this broad picture looks like as we fast forward to 3 years from now we are going to be a company where specialization will become the order of the day we are going to be a company where we will deliver value which is unprecedented and unknown in the context of offshoring we will be the company which will uh, go to the next generation services model because the traditional services model are all dying and they will in some shape and form die over the period of next 3 to 5 years so it is our duty to stay ahead of the game and to bring refreshed value to our customers for this we are going to have a glide path where we will work with uh, with employee groups with different employees to ensure they go towards specialization we are going to pick the spots some of them we have already picked to ensure that we invest more in those areas of specialization and grow more with our customers that's what we are planning to do because the traditional offshoring world will start to give way for new generation of services so that being the case we have called this shot first before many others and i am absolutely thrilled that we are taking this bold step so in in line with that let me make the four announcements that uh, you know i'm fairly certain some of you would love what i'm about to announce 
should I announce it last or first? I don't know. But uh, probably I'll start with the, the biggest announcement which is applicable starting now. Because we want to value specialization. We want to make sure that we are able to retain, attract and nurture a specialist. My first announcement is from here on, we will not have forced bell curve in rating anymore. Supervisors will have the freedom to have their rating based on the employee performance. Nobody is going to come and enforce bell curve on you. Do you like it? I don't hear anything. From you. So I know that in March you will be doing that exercise. So in March, no bell curve will be enforced. Okay, so that's number one. Secondly, we are going to come out with individual contributors to have the ability who just want to remain as individual contributors and want to go up the ladder through the specialization. Today, once you reach level seven or whatever, you need to make, become a people manager in order to grow from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. What we are going to do is we are going to come out with individual contributor uh, growth model, which can take you right up to level 11, provided you reach that level of specialization. Second announcement. Do you like it? So people who want to specialize will get this as an opportunity, right? Let me give you third announcement. Third announcement is we are going to come out with a model where we will bring in people who are uh, take our existing people provided they want to opt for it. It's almost like a retainership model where you can have retainership and percentage of billing that you do to the customer and uh, what you collect will go to you as variable pay rather than company taking the entire variable pay and administering it over the department's performance. Select individuals who are hyper-specialized, who can bill their time directly to the client and client values them, would be able to, uh, to take percentage of their billing, certain percentage of their billing as their own variable. So you have the ability to have limitless income depending on at what rate we end up billing you to the customer. This will be done on pilot basis with select individuals and it would be for those people who are uh, you know, I will call them as silver foxes who are able to do almost like consulting like engagement. So that is the third announcement. Now let me share with you the fourth announcement. And this fourth announcement, um, I'm going to attempt to explain it to you. I'm not the best person who, who can kind of explain. But today, um, for technology reasons, MG has warned me not to get anybody else to answer because apparently we are attempting it for the first time. He doesn't want people to come and mess up with his technology. So he, I wanted Ilango to explain it. And uh, we are going to call it some kind of a, uh, a specialist tribe that we want to build. We will seed fund these tribes so that you could build a, a community which is able to self-certify, grow and move up the value chain. And these gills will be funded by emphasis or seed funded by emphasis. So people who want to run these gills would be, and this could be a small little uh, specialization, for example, in the space of Pega, or whatever, right? We will start small by, by building two or three gills, depending on how it performs, it has the ability to grow and, and attract more talent. You would be able to bring in more people and grow. Now, so stay tuned for uh, the specifics to emerge. So let me just uh, articulate four announcements which we are making. Number one, forced bell curve is non-existent anymore in new emphasis. Second, individual contributors with, who specialize and who, who qualify, obviously the qualification criteria will continue to be stringent, would have the ability to go towards higher level of the organization without becoming people manager and going right up to level 11. Number three, we are going to have a, a pilot where we would select 
few individuals initially to look at combination of retainership percentage of billing into their variable compensation model and fourth is this guild services which is going to take us to specialization why are we making these announcements we are making these announcements because we want to be that specialized company which is what is written in our mission statement if you uh, go through your uh, our new mission statement it says that we want to be that specialized company so in that sense all of us or many of us some of us whichever way you look at it would have the opportunity to go up the value chain and I will highly recommend that we try and pursue that career path because increasingly the generic skills uh, uh, in the marketplace will be not valuable at all because you are seeing advent of business process link code generators which will start generating codes on their own and these code generators will make the generic people who are coding to be less valuable hence it is an opportunity for us to step up the game and go for higher level of business now what you see in our logo it depicts modernness openness it depicts that we collaborate because there are you can see that there are connectors in our logo so these are the descriptions which i don't want to bore you with but i'm personally very excited and i'm thrilled to see that this excitement is shared by many of you keep sending me emails keep tweeting keep uh, communicating through social network whatever you want to do because this is an important day where we are starting our journey in a very different way as a very different company but not losing uh, two or three things one customer centricity will continue to be the most important thing for us because we are not defining just customer satisfaction we are going for customer delight second thing which doesn't change is the ethical framework of the company we will continue to practice high standards of ethical uh, uh, professional behavior within the company the third thing which doesn't change emphasis has always been a company with a heart you many of you have been performing this role in the society we have been uh, our teams have been doing stellar work in corporate social responsibility we will continue to stay focused in the csr area so those three things if at all will not change they will get intensified and then you will get to see our portfolio getting refreshed we embark in more and more in anything as a service model we embarking more and more in wearable computing in mobility in analytics in digital space and uh, you will see us building our own IP or ecosystem of IP where we partner in fact we are in discussion with some large companies for strategic partnership as we speak you will see some of these announcements rolling out over the next 45 days so a lot of work has gone in all of you have brought us where we are and it is important that we take this occasion to celebrate to uh, to recharge ourselves and to reach out for the stars because what new emphasis is going to do is we are going to set the pace and make sure we stay ahead of the game i want to thank you for all the wonderful work that you are doing our customer satisfaction rating is very high you people are doing a wonderful job let's keep doing that at the same time take this occasion to celebrate i'm uh, going to open it up for any questions that you may have let me uh, i i believe that every location has uh, sequence i'll get deepa to help me with uh, sequencing and then i'll answer any question that you have thank you ganesh for the q and a session we'll go from one location to the other and um, if every location can ask about three questions that would be good considering we have eight locations and with three questions we'll be spending a lot of time in each location we'll start with kshema and then we'll move on to Bangalore ORR office, then to Pune Magarpatta, then Pune Eon, followed by Mumbai, Chennai, and uh, Perin, Bangalore Perin, the last. All right. So over to you, Kshema. Um, Ajay, or anybody else, do you have any questions there? What really has to change with, with this flow is the learning program. This learning program currently has no feedback system, and it's an open secret as to how people complete their 40 hours of peer time, right? Skipping pages. 
if really has if really emphasis has to step up its knowledge base then training has to have feedback and customized training uh, I wanted to put my to the chest now so the training process and make it all all so it becomes more customized more more employee friendly and uh, uh, more usable okay guru thanks for letting me know i appreciate uh, uh, such important and candid feedback uh i will definitely take it on board you can expect that uh, we will do a little bit deep dive into what you have just articulated and uh, we want it to be a specialized company if we want we want to invest in learning and we will do the right thing if this is a problem we will definitely fix it that's my commitment to you thank you can you pass the phone to the next person who is going to ask the question okay uh, for those people who are in other location the question the point which guru made was that uh, there is an open secret how people use uh, uh, skills portal basically they they just uh, skim through just to complete the number of hours it does not bring value to 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 to, uh, to the uh, employees and uh, he wants us to look at industry's best practices and see how we can change the entire learning a uh, model learning program so that it brings customized value to employees and thereby to our customers yeah, and if indeed it is an issue my commitment is we will definitely definitely fix it are we getting a second question from shema uh, yeah my question is can we had a blog or forum kind of a thing of internal technical discussion so that uh, people who required any help in their technology either it's python java c++ whatever it is so they can had a group of people who can help inside the company itself sometimes we are not getting enough help from our own team so and the same point if somebody from amphasis itself who is having expertise on that can help them out and resolve the problem instantaneously instead of searching uh, searching on web so much time and doing on that we had a group of communities like python java community c++ community like that so we can internally help each other okay so uh, for uh, thanks for i will answer the question the question which or suggestion which was can we create an internal forum or community which helps each other uh, through the uh, through the technical aspects uh, java c++ or whatever um, is distinctly possible but i'm going to be candid with you sorob is that high on my personal priority no it is not high on my personal priority simply because as we go look ahead i'm looking at solutions so learning portal i completely acknowledge i am going to ask gopi to look into this technical aspect right and uh, building a community combination of guild and what uh, gopi may decide in this area may work um the the aspect which i am going for is can we actually go really real higher level of specialization where we go beyond just coding and look at uh, things which are more in the business i don't mean bpo but where we look at business process linked applications where we look at kpis where we look at data visualization high performance skin those are the areas where the game will get played and we will continue to see how we can enable each one of you to move up the value chain so of course you will be relevant and it will also help in a sense that when we become more and more specialists not only company benefits you would start personally benefiting out of it let me take the third question from shema all right we get the first lady to let's give a big hand we are getting the first lady who is going to ask this question welcome this yes, i'm nandini from new venture go ahead uh, my question is dropping the hp um, uh, name from our logo is there going Everybody to be any change in a go to market yeah, strategy okay uh, how about your name is there going to your... change i'm nandini okay thanks nandini for asking this question um of course there will be a change in uh, go to market uh, strategy we will be uh, as part of our uh, we are going to be running campaigns campaigns which will last for at least a year or two and our first campaign is uh, is around the word next so where we are going to be focusing on select area so let me explain to you for n we are going to be focusing on new age digital for e we are focusing on ecosystem of ip for x x is going to stand for anything as a service or x a a s and 
uh, for T, it is about tackling asymmetric competitors. And this is more of a leadership statement which we are going to be uh, to be making in the market. So hard to describe uh, asymmetric model. You can you can think of asymmetricity as a disruptive competitor who comes into the marketplace and and comes in and whacks away your business, takes your customers away. How do you make sure that your business process, IT systems are nimble, responsive, so that you can compete effectively with uh, with the disruptive players, or you yourself can be a disruptive player? That's kind of the moral of the story of the last one. So in line with that. We will be making a fine tuning of go-to-market, not significant surgery of go-to-market, and we would be investing in um, in more in uh, what shall I say domain expertise, pre-sales, so that we can bring the value to our customers. We have already gone into named account. Our sales force is doing a wonderful job in maturing in terms of named account management, which is going to bring in uh, good growth. We are also bring, going to take this value to HP because HP indeed is the largest customer. HP is not going to be ignored. We want to make sure that we bring refreshed value to HP, thereby trying to not only reduce the, the decline, but hopefully in time to come, hoping that at some stage the decline will stop and growth will come back. Thanks for asking that question, Nandini. Let me get Deepa to take us to the next location and we will circle back depending on whether we have time or not. All right, so the next location is Oara. Um, Dinesh, do you have some questions from there? The question is, why this brand change happened? Is there any reason behind it? Yeah, yeah absolutely, and, okay. there is a reason behind it. Uh, and the reason is a good reason, not uh, anything sinister behind it. The brand is a representation of what this company stands for in the future. And we want it to be a company which is specialized and ahead of the market, bringing disproportionate value to our customers. A company which is forward-looking rather than, than uh, backward-looking, if I may. And hence, the brand is a representation of what we want to be. And that was the reason why we have gone ahead with our brand change, nothing else. That answers my question. Thank you. Do you, have a, uh, do you have a question on, based on my answer? Please go ahead and ask. No, no questions now. Are there any more questions from Dr. By the way, nice, uh, nice t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, so I have a follow-up question on your on your answer. So, we, but this change in the logo, is this the first step for a change in ownership? Let me answer that. Are you married? <laughs> Can I ask you a question, are you married? Are you married? Have you moved houses? Have you ever moved houses from one house to the other house after being married? <laughs> Does it mean that you have a different spouse when you move houses? <laughs> oh boy, you are wishing for it. But uh, the fact is, this does not signify any change in shareholding of emphasis. This only signifies that the board and the leadership of emphasis is committed to being tremendously successful in the marketplace and emphasis board is uh, willing to help in every way possible including the branding exercise so that we become more successful in the market. There is nothing sinister behind this and there is no signal whatsoever about any shareholding change. So, if you read this in media, if you hear us, uh, this in uh, rumor mill, please take my word for it. There is no such sinister design or hidden design behind this. Okay, we are waiting for the third question. So guys, I know this is the first time we are attempting this multiple uh, simultaneous video cast. It has glitches, but uh, this attempt itself demonstrates that we are trying to do things differently. Now obviously our team has uh, tried their level best to make it glitch free but such things happen. What we were trying to do is to make the best out of it. So if you are not able, if we can't hear you, try the mobile phone of uh, Deepa and we will answer that question. Hi Ganesh, this is Dinesh Narayanan. 
my question is uh, how do you how do we ensure greater synergy uh, between different verticals in the company see the one of the things which i have learned uh, over time there would be enough uh, problems which you have to solve but we need to focus on problems which will give you 80% of the returns in other words 20% of things that you have to solve will give you 80% of returns now synergy between multiple verticals if there is high level of synergy we should be classifying it as a horizontal not as a vertical so we have horizontal solutions such as testing such as erp such as supply chain management and what we are doing is we are taking crm and putting a gift wrapping and taking it to let's say uh, uh, to a uh, side of banking so then it becomes a horizontal so if it is a horizontal play it will be in horizontal it will get sorted out if it is a vertical play i'm not trying to solve the problem of synergy between verticals absolutely thank you thank you hello ganesh uh, this is indranil bhat uh, i'm an employee of emphasis uh, from the magarpatta location uh, first and foremost uh, i'd like to uh, just say that the new logo looks great so uh, we have uh, you spoke about getting into hyper specialization and uh, we already have a uh, in emphasis we have various practices like we have the testing practice we have the sfdc practice i think your question was we already have practices now why the specialization and the practices themselves specialization okay <laughs> i got it now practices clearly are specialization now beyond the practices there are elements which are not part of practices and even within practices there are many things which we do which are generic in nature so if you look at a practice can we really take the practice up the value chain that is one element of specialization secondly there are areas where we do very generic work which will start going away because automatic code generators will come into place business process link code generators will come into place what we want to make sure that our employees get to participate in newer areas and stay relevant with the market increase their earning and most importantly can we increase the value to our customers the whole space of digital wearable computing mobility analytics is really going to be driving huge amount of investment traditional world of where we are just doing application management and support it won't happen next quarter but i'm saying 3 years 5 years from now these things will start declining at a rapid pace we are making that change today so that we give an opportunity for all of us to participate prosper and succeed in front of the customer that's why we are doing it thank you thank you indranil for asking the question hi i'm kiran from the project and program management domain here while we're looking at technical specialization are we also looking at business consulting which is going to encompass all the small specialization or okay hyper specialization and overarching this we go with an end to end consulting solution from the project and program management arena because we are all still generic but we will be able to encompass all the super specialization and bring an overall solution to it while we are looking at technical super specialization are we looking at business consulting as an offering because that will leverage harness the whole thing and bring greater value to the customer uh the answer is yes and no uh, let me share with you what i mean by that we business consulting is viewed in various ways for example mckinsey talks about restructuring the organization as a business consulting what we are looking at is lower end of business consulting and not organizational restructuring which is absolutely the higher end of domain consulting if i may and that is where the new model of retainership and part of the billing is going to get introduced so very high end domain consulting is something which we would like to bring to the market hopefully it answered your question do we have more questions from there my name is ashish verma okay first of all this change looks very exciting what i am asking is that have we set any milestones and target for in this new environment for next one year two years or five years to be achieved ashish's question is while he is not expecting a specific answer he wants to know have we set some goals 
towards certain targets to be achieved with your model? Answer is absolutely yes. Quality of revenue and quantity of revenue targets have been discussed and have been framed and that's what we are going after so that we become that uh, you know new type of services entity compared to many others. Thanks for asking that question Ashish. Um, from uh, Pune, Yon, the question is, um, is this brand change going to have any change in terms of salary increment or infrastructure <laughs> that, the, uh, that the company uses? Would there be any improvement in this as well? Salary increment is all of us earn it. And that model will never change and it will never go out of fashion. So all of us will have to earn our salary increments. It doesn't change, it hasn't changed in the last uh, 50 or 60 years, it is unlikely to change in the next 60 years. So, uh, but if the more you specialize, higher is your billing rate, higher would be your ability to, to, to increase your income platform. That is for sure. Now, second question is infrastructure. I'm, I guess you are referring whether infrastructure will improve or not. Uh, the idea is that we want to increase the earning capacity and billability of every employee. As that happens, simultaneously, I expect ourselves to be a bit more modern, a bit more swanky, and this will happen in gradual phases. The answer is yes, but don't expect miracles, but it will happen over a period of time. For that, we need to increase revenue per employee, billability and uh, specialization as that happens you will simultaneously see the, the other transformation taking place as well. All right. next the, question. the next question from Eon is uh, for performance monitoring tool apart from PeopleSoft are we going to introduce other tools as well? Would it be the same? Would there be any change after this? Um, because you said performance uh, management will change. You saying how will we do the performance management? I don't know when I said perform, I just said that we are lifting the force bell curve on it. I did not say that we are changing the performance management. Uh, uh, and at this juncture, honestly, I don't know the answer to this question. I don't even know whether it is it requires to be changed. And not everything has to be changed in order for us to be a better company. There are things which are working and we are not going to change those things. There are things which requires fine tuning, we will fine tune those. There are things which are redundant and which are arcade. We will kill those things and introduce new things. That's the overall uh, framework. In this scheme of things, the PeopleSoft performance monitoring tool did not appear as a problem to me as of now. So I, hence, I'm not able to answer that question. The next question is from Chennai. The question is, uh, why did we do this initiative now? And why did we think the time was right now? And why did we take so long to start with the initiative? Okay. These are interesting questions, uh, you know, they become a good topic for discussion. But many of these questions don't have legs. Because if you have uh, introduced it in 2012, the same question could have been asked. Any decision that you make, people will ask why now and why not last year, why not next year. And um, uh, we felt and I felt this is the most opportune time and uh, we wanted to bring our brand in the new world of specialization, brand recognition to select customers becomes extremely important. Investment into specialization becomes extremely important. Automation and innovation in the delivery organization becomes extremely important. Investment into go-to-market becomes extremely important. So these are the factors that we are working on. And, uh, and uh, in some ways, uh, we felt that this is the right time uh, there were factors which played, but we don't know whether this is the right time or not. But the fact remains, we have made the decision and we are going to go full hog. This is not just about a cute logo. This is about a new company which is going to make waves in the industry, which is going to be more successful, where we will have employees who prosper by learning and specializing, where we will have a freer environment. We are going to remove those shackles which prevented us from contributing more to our success and go for, if I may, go for the kill. Really go towards the pinnacle of what IT services company should be. And that's what we are aspiring to do and that's where we are headed. So the next question, Pune again. 
is around um, background verification. The question from Eon is, uh, we have background verification done before an offer letter or an LOI is issued because now it's done two or three months later. So for two or three months, employees are there in a company without background verification. Is that the right thing to do? Are we going to change that? As I said, there are many things which we have to uh, change. And I have focused on top 20%. This didn't make it to the top uh, top uh, 20%. And if indeed it is a problem, I expect that uh, our leaders will be helping to solve it. Do I think that it is fair or is it right to keep somebody in suspense for three months? I personally think not, but uh, there may be some practical reasons why it happens that way. Uh, so there are, uh, you know, infrastructural constraints. I'm not saying that we should use them as excuse. So without knowledge of those constraints, I don't want to make a commitment which I can't keep. But indeed, that is not coming in the way of we becoming successful at this point of time. So the next question is, when we announced Pravega, Metal Accounts and SMU initiatives were key. Will there be any change as now we are talking about high performance skin, wearable computing, etc. We have already made investment in specialized market unit where we are uh, mobility and wearable computing is coming together. Analytics is a separate team. We have a team which is looking at BPO and uh, we will enhance that team's ability to go towards anything as a service and so on. So no fundamental structure won't change. We will just do fine tuning. So we have three questions that have come up from the Pune location now. Uh, the first question is, when can we inform customers about this change? Is there an official email that we can send to them? Uh, who can send these uh, emails to customers? That's the first question. So if you can answer that, I'll ask the second. The emails uh, are going through. It is managed by the market unit. So uh, if you have somebody within, um, within your own sphere you want to send it to, please work with your market unit to send it so we are able to do it in a structured fashion with clear messaging. You're going and telling the customer, I have a new brand, new vision, new mission carries no value. So we have worked very hard on communication. So if you have certain contacts to whom you want to send to, please work with your leader and MU to make that happen. So the second question from Pune is, um, now that we're talking about specialization and um, the other culture that we want to inculcate, is there a reward and recognition program who come, for people who come up with ideas or IPs? Answer is yes. I mean, I hope it existed even before um, because we always rewarded at least to, within our limited ability for people who have contributed uh, to this thing. Now, please, you are welcome to join. I don't think we have monopoly on good ideas at uh, leadership level. Good ideas come from all over. If you have a good idea, please contribute. And there is a website which we or email address which we have created which you can write to in this area. What is the email address? Unleash the next at emphasis.com. Unleash the next at emphasis.com. A question from Mumbai is uh, Are we going to have any specific training? on uh, upcoming technologies like wearable computing, mobility, cloud. How do, how do people gear up for these new things? Yeah, absolutely. At some stage, it will come in your direction. People who want to specialize in that area or who want to enter that area, it may not start with specialization. You can enter that area and become specialist over, over a period of time. Um, we will have uh, such curriculum, such path. It will come in your direction. Don't expect it tomorrow, but it will happen sooner than later. And uh, that's how we are going to grow collectively. If at all, our attempt is to make it, uh, make it more valuable to them. It does not signify any negative change with HP. Uh, HP remains and is and will be a very, very important part of our current and future success. And we, will, uh, we are clearly trying to have a breakthrough with HP. And I'm, we are hoping that with high level of specialization, we are able to bring that value to HP. Uh, yeah. My question is, uh, let's accept the fact that we are living in the world of data. Big data is the new buzzword, which is driving business across spectrum. And uh, so what are the steps emphasis is taking in that direction? See, big data is, is not necessarily driving the world. It is the buzzword, I understand. 
but the concept of data modeling, data visualization, data analytics, data as a profit center is clearly uh, an area. That's why I was sharing earlier, high performance skin is one area which we are focused on. And secondly, we are also uh, working in partnership with ClickView, Tableau uh, in data visualization space. So there is a lot of work going on in SMU in this space of data, uh, especially around uh, data visualization. All right, so we'll move to the parent location now. The question here is from Ganesh Karan. Ganesh is asking, uh, does end-to-end -end product engineering have a place in the next emphasis? Right now, there is defocus on PES direct business with, uh, with no new logos for PES. Yeah, so, you know, PES, we are uh, trying to focus more on HP rather than direct because after three years, our success was limited in the direct space. We did not have the breakthrough in the direct space. So, uh, you know, we did attempt uh, to go direct in the PES space for three years and it's a fairly long time to try and have a breakthrough. Since we didn't get it, we are uh, directing our focus back to HP. The next question is from Perun again. It says, will this brand change not impact HP channel business? How do you think HP clients will react and have you heard from them so far? HP is part of the journey. And uh, it is not just about how the brand or logo looks like. It is the personality that we build for the company. How do we deliver brand promise? The brand promise that we are building with specialization and uh, people, profit, and planet together, uh, it, is a, it is a very compelling promise. We are not there yet. Once we convert it into promise, Regardless of whether it is a direct client or through HP, we will be delivering greater value. So I see no reason why people will react negatively to the initiative which we are undertaking. So uh, I guess uh, we are yeah, kind of short of time. Yes. And uh, somebody has reminded me that I shouldn't come in the way between you and the cake cutting that you guys have in respective locations. <coughs> Obviously, we cannot deliver the cake through video conferencing. So we have real cakes for you in your respective location. Please enjoy the evening and uh, let's uh, start building a company which is different, uh, which is highly valued, where employees reach high level of specialization, customers derive unbelievable value and customer delight. And as a result, shareholders walk away with uh, higher value. And last but not least, we are seen as a company with a heart uh, performing our role uh, as a C in, in terms of CSR. Thank you so much. Good luck and best wishes. Location leaders, over to you now for the cake cutting, please. So guys, uh, thank you for your patience. I know there were a little bit of uh, technology glitches. Apologies for that. Uh, we should accept the fact that we are doing it for the first time and uh, be happy about the fact that it's been largely successful. Right, so uh, I was expecting uh, Deepa to actually well, come in front here. and uh, uh, up front, you know, tell you certain things which she was not able to do. Uh, I just want to remind you that there is an email ID which has been created for any other questions you may have. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that we were we had to limit the number of questions to only three, but that doesn't mean the other unanswered questions should remain unanswered. So the email ID is unleash the next. You see that below that emphasis uh, logo, uh, branding there. Unleash the next at emphasis.com. So please write into that and you will get your responses, right? Uh, so we'll have a small cake cutting. Um, Anand and I will probably do the honors on all our behalf. And uh, there are pastries there at the, at the back. So please help yourself and, uh, and all the very best and congratulations on the new branding. Thank you. Just to show that it is cut, so this is a proof. Um, please enjoy your cake. I think uh, it's around the corner. Thank you. It's going to be kept here. Each of you gets a
Who is it? Ram and Chandra. And uh, the, all the leaders to initiate this uh, new change, new beginning. And uh, definitely we all will collaborate and then uh, help together to look forward a new change that will give a positive results. Whenever there is a change, there can be some small glitches or Im impact on the negative side. But we cannot really think about it. We can take the positives and then move forward. Thank you so much. Come on, Misha. Come on, Misha. Come on. Come on. No, no, wait. Kopi, your birthday is coming. No, no. Why are you suddenly inviting poor guy? One and a half months, you just told me. No. <laughs> he just kicks on you, Gopi. Yeah, it's a fake birthday or what? Come, come, come. come, come.